Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the material aspects of solar panels. There are different type of material we used for solar panels manufacturing. So we are going to discuss about what are the different types and why we are using. If you look at this picture, we are usually using the poly type, polysilicon type, monosilicon type and half cut solar panels and bifacial solar panels. The half cut and bifacials are new addition to the solar industry. So let's, let's look at one by one. So basically we have three different types that monocrystalline and polycrystalline and thin film. So monocrystalline is a pure silicon and the efficiency of power production is 24.4 percentage and the cost is moderate and longest life span. And the polycrystalline, that's the old type. So we are using a melted silicon crystal. The efficiency is low compared to the monocrystalline. That is a 19.9 percentage and least expensive, moderate lifespan. And the weight is 27.2 grams compared to the monocrystalline, weight is less. Then the last one is a thin film. Thin film is a new addition. It's a, like a sheet, solar sheets, solar panels. It manufactures as a sheet. This efficiency is low, like 18.9 percentage compared to both other types and expensive, shortest life and the weight is less. So different application, as you can see in different videos, there are some places we can easily install the thin flame seats. So we are using that. And basically uh, nowadays we are using a monocrystalline. This is an advanced type, the monocrystalline we are using. If you look at deeper into the mono and poly, poly is old uh, before 10 years, maybe probably whatever the installation we did before 10 years, uh, we used monocrystalline. Now reason is we are using the, uh, sorry, the, we used polycrystalline 10 years before, now we are using monocrystalline. So, so monocrystalline, by looking at both, you can easily identify monocrystalline is look like a black color. To make cell for monocrystalline panel, silicon is formed into bar and cut into wafers. So this is how monocrystalline is fabricated. So if you look at clearly, here you can see the, the monocrystalline structure and the polycrystalline. To make cells for polycrystalline panels, fragments of silicon are melted together to form wafers. So this is a old old technology polycrystalline is old technology and monocrystalline is a new technology and more efficient and uh, having more lifespan so next move into standard solar panel versus half cut solar panel so uh, for last many years we have standard solar panels in recent years i think in last year only the half cut solar panel technology introduced so half cut solar technology mean like we the standard panels we cut into half and we make more cells compared to the number of cells here one two three four five six seven eight cells in here but here we have double 16 cells in one row so this is uh, uh sorry in one column we have 16 cells so the purpose of half cut solar technology is to make the current carrying path easier. I mean, in the in old old videos, in my videos, you can see that what if anything one of the cell uh, failed in this standard solar panel, the end this end the series here will uh, not work. So the entire line of these cells will not work because of one single cell. So half cut uh, solar panels help to create the the path. So if you look at here, that uh, in, in the normal solar uh, standard solar panels, we have a path like it's going until here and come back like that. But in this half cut solar panel, what is happening here? Current, current coming this path and continue until here this point, and here it's joining again. So it coming back and here. So in case if one of the cell fail here, only this this particular section is faulty, become faulty, not this section. So it means like we are reducing the the risk of uh, failing the entire series of uh, cells into half. So in standard panel, if one of the cells fail, the entire series will fail. But here we are 
reducing in the half. So that's the reason. So half cut soda cells are rectangular silicon soda cells with about half the area of the traditional square soda cell. Okay, the advantage of half cut soda cell is that they exhibit less energy loss from resistance and heat because current carrying path is easy now because it's no need to carry until this point. So it's like in a half way it can join here. The current can join after going through this path, it can come and join here. So this you can hear the current flow. This is a center path. It's a uh, shown here this is the center path so all the current will join in this path so this is a half cut solar this is a reason that the the half cut solar cells are more efficient so increase total efficiency there's a, a reason why how the half cut solar panels increases total efficiency Okay, if you need to understand more, please go and watch the, my previous uh, lectures about the solar cells, where I explain how the solar cells are connected in series to make a solar module. So if you understand that and compare, that is a, about standard solar uh, panels. So uh, then you can compare with uh, standard solar panels and half cut solar panel that we are studying now. So half cut solar panel is a new technology. So it adva advances with a two to three percentage higher module output because of this half cut solar tech uh, idea. This is a design idea. This is not much uh, difference on the the manufacturing. It, it, of course, we have a slightly different because we have num more number of cells we are using. But the, uh, this is a design idea that uh, having half cut solar module will increase the um, output efficiency and reduces the losses because the current carrying path is simplified. The current carrying path is simplified. There's a reason why we are getting more output. Okay, so this is, <coughs> sorry, sorry. This is the reason we are getting more output. Okay, next, uh, okay, you can see clearly that uh, what is a full cell and a half cell. In half uh, cut solar panel, we are using half cell because we need to increase a double number of cells. So we are using half cells. So two to three percentage power up, the efficiency is increased and less heat losses, less heat losses, okay? So next uh, you can have a look on here, uh, polycrystalline, monocrystalline and uh, half cut uh, uh, technology and bifacial. We are going to study now about the bifacial. So the last, uh, Thing is about bifacial. Bifacial means the solar panels are facing both sides of the solar panels can uh, generate electricity. In traditional solar panels, we have one side only can generate electricity. The bottom side is nothing like the aluminium uh, material is placed. Then we have the 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 connectors and all other the appliances, uh, the bypass diode or uh, other diodes uh, setups are uh, the behind the module. But this bifacial solar panels use both sides of the solar panel can produce electricity. Uh, this is another uh, advantage of uh, technology that uh, uh, improve the uses that uses the reflected energy from the ground. Uh, if you look at the traditional solar panel sunlight is one uh, uh, on one light absorbing site. Okay, one site. Okay. Light energy that cannot capture is reflected away. Okay, this is not the case with the bifacial solar panel. Instead, these types of panels have solar cells on both sides. Both sides. This enables the panel to absorb light from the back and the front. Back and the front. Practically speaking, this means that the bifacial solar can absorb light that is reflected off the ground. So basically, if your installation is a ground mounted, there's a clear distance from the ground, almost like a one meter or two meter distance. Okay, at least one or two meters distance. So what happened that whatever the solar radiation falling on the ground can reflect from the ground to the panel. So the, the bottom size uh, side of the panel can absorb this reflected uh, uh, solar radiation and can generate electricity. So it's more mostly suitable for ground mounted solar 
PVs because uh, in case of roof mounted we don't give that much of a gap between the roof or your actual roof house roof to the solar panels we might leave only few inches gap maximum of one feet because it's a uh, for the airflow the gap for the airflow so that uh, uh, that small gap there's no reflected uh, solar radiation uh, 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 can be achieved so uh, for the roof uh, the roof mounted uh, Bifacial is not affecting, but ground bounded system because the ground bounded system we have use a huge land area where we place the solar panels in at least more than one to two meter height. Okay, at least one meter, more than one meter height. So that one meter distance we can use for uh, reflect uh, the solar radiation falling on the ground. Okay. So that's all for today. Uh, so we studied about uh, four different things that uh, monocrystalline, uh, polycrystalline, uh, and uh, uh, half cut solar panels and the bifacial solar panel. So uh, mono and poly, there are two types. Okay, polycrystalline, polysilicon. We use olden days, early days. Now we are using the mono type. Then uh, about the half cut solar technology is a design concept like by improving the current carrying path, we can increase the efficiency, we can reduce the heat losses. Then the bifacial technology, bifacial solar panels comes through the idea of about uh, how to capture the reflected uh, solar radiation falling on the ground and reflected back to the panels. So uh, we can use that as well. So thank you very much. Please subscribe this channel and give your support.